Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. One in three Australian children can't read properly, prompting calls for the current reading teaching methods to be dumped and replaced with phonics. The landmark study from the Grattan Institute reveals poor reading skills are costing the economy $40 billion. It calls for the current method of teaching reading, the 70s-era whole language approach, to be banished from schools. Companies in charge of Australia's offshore detention regime could be involved in corrupt activity. An investigation by the Sydney Morning Herald, The Age and 60 Minutes shows some organisations have been linked to drug and arms smuggling, bribery and other corruption. The Home Affairs Department also failed to share vital information about the contractor's alleged involvement in serious crime. Former ASIO Director General Dennis Richardson has told 60 Minutes he was not shocked by the findings. It does surprise me, but... It doesn't surprise me. Uh, I suspect the profit margins in those contracts would have been very high. The opposition says the federal government's policy to lift apprenticeship numbers has failed. Data from the National Centre for Vocational Education and Research shows 50,000 fewer apprentices and trainees. The opposition argues Labor's push for more fee-free TAFE courses is achieving very little. Deputy Liberal leader Susan Lee says the lack of skilled workers will hurt our economy. Skilling Australians is much more complex than just announcing fee-free TAFE. You actually have to get apprentices and trainees connected to a job and in training so that they can fulfil their dreams for a job and the employer's needs for a good quality employee. And King Charles has been spotted in his first public outing since his cancer diagnosis. He was seen attending church at Sandringham. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, the Australian men's cricket team has won the T20 International Series against the West Indies with a 34-run victory in the second match. Glenn Maxwell was the best with the bat, scoring 120 not out from just 55 deliveries. A under-19 boys' side has beaten India in the final of the World Cup by a massive 79 runs. Aussie surfer Molly Picklum is remaining upbeat despite narrowly losing the Pipeline Pro final to Katie Simmers. Picklum says the iconic break feels like her second home. I'm so grateful for all the locals. That I feel like they're really encouraging of us women and they show us around and show us the spots and um, they also show us how it's done. And Yeah, I don't know. I just feel really grateful to be here and to start it off here in such a challenging wave. It's, it's like a love-hate relationship, but I kind of like that challenge. Western United has downed Brisbane Raw 3-2 in the A-League women, while in the men's, the Western Sydney Wanderers and Newcastle Jets have drawn 3-all. In entertainment news, a global TV audience of more than 100 million people will be watching the Super Bowl today when the Kansas City Chiefs take on the San Francisco 49ers in Las Vegas. Taylor Swift reportedly jetting in from Tokyo to attend. Usher will provide the half-time entertainment. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another. Another update. I'm Susie Thompson.